What up, folks? I have a free view of the Lost Zane recordings ready to go. I unleashed two of these full-length radio shows from back in the day, every Monday and Friday on the Patreon. So here's a snippet from the most recent show that I've just published. It is a classic edition of Dear Meathead. You know, it's incredible the amount of time that my dad has been on the radio. Holy cow. So, you know, his own call-in feature, uh, you emailing him, stuff like that. Uh, it's just been uh, quite a ride. So I like to feature these from time to time on the free view. Now, if you want the full show that is available on Patreon, it's going to set you back 5 or $10 a month from you for 11, count them, 11 bonus episodes per week. Patreon makes a wonderful accompaniment to the regular free podcast that you hear Monday through Friday. Patreon.com slash Eric Zane or click the link in the show notes. There you go. Five bucks a month is all of my audio. Ten bucks a month is all the audio, the video, and live streams for you. Patreon.com slash Eric Zane. That's P-A-T-R-E-O-N.com slash Eric Zane. Uh, Listener supported ad free Patreon. Here you go. Mine. Tell me where have Brought to you by been? Signature Investigation Group. Let's bring him in right now. Hey, Dad, how are you? Father, Good morning, son. Good morning to you. And the crew. Hey. Yeah, Dad, the crew hey. is here. The crew yeah. is here. Hey, how's, how's it going? It's going great. We're having a great day, man. We just talked to uh, Kyle Criscolo from the Griffins. He says hi, I'm sure. He's, everybody's a fan. They like listening in the locker room while they're getting ready for practice to you. That's awesome. That's my favorite team. <laughs> well, yeah. Better, I mean, the Red Wings are having kind of a down year, so not, not too much fun. There hasn't been a whole lot to root for. we got to get you down cool. here for, uh, for a game for the Griffins because I'll, I'll bring you into where I work, and you can see it up close and personal. All right. Well, hey, they're tired. A year has been a long time, so they, they need a break. Take a year off. You talking about the Red Wings? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I don't know if that's in store. Well, Dad, we uh, threw out the phone number for anybody to call in with their questions at 800-785-1073. And uh, we're getting more response. We go to Gun Lake, Michigan. This is Tom. You're on with Dad on Dear Meathead. Welcome. Hey, Meathead. Thank you Hello, for taking Tom. My call. How are you? You are Tom, right? Yes, that's right. I'm okay. Tom. Nice hey, to hear uh, from you. My sister, she's uh, always been kind of a, what do I say, a more than chubby, a little heavy her whole life. And uh, she, uh, you know, has a hard time getting dates, and she's uh, 55 now, never mm-hmm. been married. Really? And my problem is, is uh, she's met this guy online, and he is from... Uh, not Afghanistan, but it's on one of these countries that are, like, right next to Afghanistan. One of the camps over there. Mm. And he's uh, 26 years old. Ooh. And now, yeah, and now she thinks she's in love with this guy and is trying to get him to come home to the country and is actually working with one of the places in Holland that do that type of thing. Okay, get to it, Tom. And, yeah, what's your question? Well, well, what do I do? I mean, I know this is just a guy trying to get over here all the country, and as soon as she gets over here, it's going to be like, okay. see ya. She's funneling money over there. Oh. What do I do? What do I do about it? Okay. Well, let's condense this question. Yeah, Dad, uh, his sister is uh, getting taken, he believes, by a guy overseas for money uh, and kind of like... The only a, reason they're together is because he's using her yeah. to get over here, and he's, they believe. Yes, he's struggling to come to grips with that and wants to uh, convey that message to her. What should he do, Dad? I think there's nothing, nothing right about this situation. Yeah. I, I know quite a bit about this uh, activity of online dating. You do? Specifically with the Middle Eastern people. <laughs> I would say it's a negative, but you have to approach this in a loving way. Yeah. Uh, I, oh, I just don't have the answer. The answer is really absurd the way I will put it. This is definitely you got to stop this. I unfortunately don't know how to do it to yeah. stop a love affair. Yeah. What do you mean by you 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 have knowledge of these things? What what did oh, you mean? I I grew up with a whole lot of Middle Eastern people. Right. Uh, 
I, I know them basically. It's, it's an, uh, they want to take an advantage of a situation of oh boy. Oh boy. Uh, meeting someone from America. United States is an important country to these people. Yeah. And, well, I would say a good number of them. Not all of them are bad people, but they have a ulterior motive uh, mm-hmm. to get to the United States through possibly a marriage and so forth. Yeah. Be able to obtain I a. Gotcha. Uh, uh, citizenship yeah. of this country, I, I would say you can, you just have to fight that in an intelligent way. Okay. Uh, your sister has got a uh, unfortunate situation of being on a heavy side, so she would just like to fall in love as soon as I can with whoever would reciprocate in that. Um, stop it. Okay. Try to stop it on your own. On an intelligent way. You can't yeah. beat her up, really. Yeah, definitely don't want to, you yeah. know. All right. All right, Tom, I, I hope that works out for you. All right, 800-785-1073. Uh, Dad, say hi to Jeremy. Jeremy, my man. Dad, we love you. Yep. Hey, love you too, guy. You're like a son I never had. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> you said a good one. <laughs> Jeremy, what's your question for Dad? All right, I'll condense it. Thank you. Much there's there's a lot of callers. I, I, I have a friend who goes on first dates. And a lot of the girls that he meets like to go pretty far on a first date. He's not comfortable with that. So how should he approach first Sex! date and let these girls know that, you know, he's looking for more of a long-term thing than just a uh, hot night out? Finger blasted! Should get his head out of his ass. Uh, Dad, what do you think? I think you should actually stop the initiating this particular occurrence right off the bat on a first date. Yeah. Uh, hey, you need several dates yeah. before you get to know each other. This is not a good thing to do. Yeah, uh, the she uh, that's a she, right? <laughs> yeah, uh, she is just giving herself up to whatever approaches her. So yeah, it's it's not a good thing. <laughs> Try to stop him, Jeremy. Thank you, buddy. Thank you. All Love right. me, head. <laughs> Yes, have a good one. 800-785-1073. Uh, we have a lot of people who want to talk to you today, Dad. I think they uh, want to talk to you more in person. In fact, uh, we travel to Ypsilanti. Say hello to Nate, Dad. Who is this? Now, this is Nate. Nate, how are you doing, my man? Great, Meathead. How are you? Not too bad, sir. Good speaking with you. Same to you. All right, my question for you is um, my wife and I are expecting our first child in a month and a half. Congratulations. Uh, a, oh, thank you. If there's one piece of advice you could give us as new parents, what would it be? Mm. Is he on ISDN line? <laughs> yeah, it sounds good. <laughs> Dad, what do you? What advice do you have for Nate on being a new parent? I know you were, uh, I mean, you can definitely relate. Uh, you've told us stories. Nate, uh, I, I do know that you, you're going to love this child, but love is a key word in there. Love your wife. First of all, don't put the child over in front of your wife, the wife is the one that really is an important, significant item of a person. Show her love. Of course, the child you're going to yeah. love, yeah. really. Yeah. And uh, whether it's boy or girl, it doesn't matter. Uh, just uh, mm-hmm. just be natural and normal. Mm-hmm. That's all there is to it. Uh, uh, to have a new baby is a wonderful thing to have in your life. Mm-hmm. Life will become... A significant part of your marriage. Now, Dad, you—I uh, remember. Well, I mean, obviously, your first child was Norman, and that was not with uh, your first marriage years ago. Yeah. Um, now, as I understand it, there were many, many rocky moments uh, from what you've told me in the past. Uh, still, despite that, was that moment a great moment when Norman came to town? Norman was a, it just a, it was a great thing, but the whole marriage was a bad situation. When a marriage goes bad, yeah, uh, the whole thing looks awful. So try to that that's the whole thing that I was trying to stress on yeah. you, loving your wife. So it was your fault that it didn't work out, is what you're saying? Absolutely, <laughs> I could not tolerate what, what what things were going on. Of course, I had a wife that was quite ill, oh. and as a young man, just didn't realize any of these things. Okay. Uh, it just went south, you know. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Nate, is that good, buddy? Are you all set? That's absolutely perfect. Yep. Good luck, man, and uh, yeah, keep don't us worry updated. about the kid. Yeah, all send about the wife. Send us, send us pictures and good luck. <laughs> Thanks. All right, buddy. 
That's Nate. 800-785-1073. If you have a question for Dad on Dear Me, Dad, we'll get to some of your emails in just a second. Jared from Muskegon is waiting on hold. Uh, Dad, say hello to Jared. Hello, Jared. How are you today? What's going on, me head? Hey, uh, the so, weather is changing. That's a cool thing. <laughs> I love it. I love yes. it. So my question is for you. I'll keep it quick because then I got a lot of callers here. But, uh, hey, I got a... I got a, a new uh, job interview for a new job, and uh, they, they keep putting me on hold, and, and they say, you know, that basically they'll have an answer for me in a week, and then we turns into two weeks, and my, my lease is coming up, and uh, it's a pretty good job, but they want me to live in one area, and I'm looking at a house in another area where we're closer to the family, but uh, I don't know what do I do. Do I, I'm a first-time homeowner. Do I live where I want to live and maybe mm. say, you know, uh, hey, you know, you haven't told me anything about the job. You kept me on hold for a few weeks, and I know I'm the yeah. qualifying candidate, but they're just trying to to get that uh, through HR so they can uh, get yeah. the budget taken It sounds of. like when I signed here, friggin' Cartwright dragging his feet forever. Hey. Dad, Dad what do you think? I think uh, you ought to call the guy up. You just did the right thing. Or call him up and say, hey, what's going on? I have a, a situation that I need to... Uh, uh, get an answer to that. Mm-hmm. Do you care to have me, or don't you care to have me? And as far as the housing is concerned, it really—it's uh, an issue that you've already tackled. It really, you—you—you you, you made a commitment, maybe to the purchase of the house. Uh, if the house is uh, nowhere near the employment place, well, that's that's a choice that mm. you made. But you got to let them know that uh, you're serious about this. Uh, you like the employment. And if you care for me, you say yes. Sir. If you don't care for me, say no. Uh, All right. You know, the employer, you got to show them some force of your own. You're yeah. not going to beg out there for yeah. a job. Yeah, uh, be but serious that... about it. Be strong about it. And uh, let it go. So basically, uh, go in there and show them who's boss, Jared. All right, well, sounds no, good. Love the show. Really. Love you, me. Yeah, no. You guys have a great afternoon. Go, in, go, yeah. no, go maybe, in there, pull your pants down, and show them who's boss. <laughs> maybe, maybe, maybe not that strong. Jared, thank <laughs> you, buddy. Guys you are. Means be excited when you do yeah. it. All right, Jesus. Eight hundred seven eight five strong. One zero seven three. Dad, Aaron writes this. Uh, young lady writes. Uh, in your opinion, meathead, is climate change real, or is it a huge money making scheme promoted? Bigly by shady paid off scientists like President Trump claims. Signed Aaron. Hey, climate change is God's activity, probably. I don't know. You have no control over that. Yeah. There's nobody is using it for anything they do for selling products. Uh, you need uh, light clothing. Well, weather changes. Wait. You go get it. So. Uh, you, you don't need any advertisement for that. No, yeah, so. but do you know like what he means? Like the planet is getting warmer and warmer and warmer based on uh, what we produce, like coal-fired power plants and cars. Well, yeah, this is true as far as that goes. Uh, but I have to go with the, with the scientists. They're predicting that the climate is changing. Yes. yes. So, you know, nobody is an authority on that. Uh, but then again, they actually use it yeah. for. Uh, Whatever the seasons are going to be, you know. Yeah, for sure. Eight hundred seven eight five one zero seven three. This is Trent in Comstock. Uh, I'm sorry, Comstock Park. Trent. Good morning, Meathead. Good morning, sir. How are you? Good. How are you today? Doing well, sir. <laughs> Good. Um, I was calling today because uh, so I recently had another job interview, um, and the. The bad thing is that the salary really isn't the best, um, and neither are the benefits, but I have a feeling I'm going to get an offer from them. Um, but I'm also waiting to hear from another job to see if I, I get further in their interview process, which right now sounds like there's a good chance. Mm. Um, but I don't want to be without another job. And so I guess my question is, uh, would it be wrong, because my wife doesn't think it would, but would it be wrong to accept this job, and then later, if I get offered a better job, decline that job before it starts? Absolutely, yes. You, you, you've I got a job that's going to be paying you some money until something better come up. You're always seeking something better for yourself. Don't sell yourself short. Take the best offer, and if the offer is yeah. good and the employment is good, stay with it yeah. if that's what you want. I agree. You're in business for you, Trent. You're not in that's business right. for anybody. You're you're working on the on the uh, on the business of Trent. 
So yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Screw yes. that. If you get a better one, say you know what. I if, if, if to, to further what Dad was saying, you could go back to the first one who hired you and say, "Hey, look, something right. better did come along. If you can make it, so I don't have to leave, I would like that, and maybe they'll sweeten the pot for you." You know, absolutely. All right. Good advice. All right. Perfect. Thank you. Do best, sir. Have a wonderful day. All right. You too. See you, buddy. 800-785-1073. Dad, uh, Mark in New Orleans, Louisiana writes, Meathead, if you had a time machine, which moment in time would you like to see and why? Examples, ancient Greece, Ottoman Empire, Roman Empire, Wild West, Stone Age, ancient Egypt. Uh, where would you like to go, Dad? <laughs> I would like to go at the Wild West, you know, because I, when I was a grown uh, person, a youngster, yeah. I was a wild character, so uh, I'd be carrying my own six-shooter and uh, take care of the situation. <laughs> the entire situation. All those situations. Yeah. There's lots of situations here. Wild uh, West was a great time to live. Mm-hmm. I heard it was pretty bad, actually. Well, I love that. A lot of dysentery. <laughs> yeah, I don't, know. I don't know how good it was, Dad. I think you might have watched one too many movies. Hey, but, uh, uh, loves John Wayne. Yeah, of course. Hey, I like to shoot him up. <laughs> well, Dad, you've done it again. I want to kill Native Americans. <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> Dad, uh, once again, you, uh, you've you been fantastic on the air. Uh, people love to hear your voice. Like I Thank said, they, uh, when I leave the uh, ice at the hockey rink, they chant your name. I've seen, I've shown you the pictures of them holding signs that say embellish <laughs> and hey, meathead, and things like that. So uh, definitely a, a huge part of the uh, West Michigan landscape on the radio, and we thank you for joining us once again. And go Wings. All right, Dad. Love you very much, okay? Thank you, honey. Happy have a good time, yeah. and say hello to the crew for me. Oh, and wh- I, while I have you on, do you want to say anything to Lindsay, who got you that nice card for your birthday, Dad? And I want to gr- greatly thank her from the bottom of my heart. That what a thing to do to get send me a card. <laughs> the short visit that we had, you know? Right. Yes, Dad, that was so nice. And thank you very much. Okay, Dad, love you very much. Love you, too, and say hello to everybody out there. Will do, Dad. Thanks again. Bye now. Bye-bye. Is that a broomski reference that I was was motorboating? (laughs) She's ample. Uh, And wonderful. Thank you very much. He made Dad feel great. That is it, my free view of the Lost Zane recordings. If you're thinking about it, take the plunge on Patreon, five or ten bucks a month. Try it out for just one month. Take the Eric Zane challenge. That way, if you're like, ah, no, I don't think I like this. You're only out five bucks or ten bucks. You know, what the hell? But I think you're going to like it. I put a lot of time and energy into it, and I think you're going to enjoy the Patreon. P-A-T-R-E-O-N, patreon.com slash Eric Zane. Thanks for listening, folks. Bye-bye.